everyone, Heather Earls here. Thanks for coming on today's episode. This week, like every week, I'll be talking about natural living and healthy tips that will get you to rethink how you live and what products or habits you can easily change to better your life. So let's get started. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this week's Urban Wisdom and Natural Living. Well, our topic today is natural, wise, and healthy decisions. First, if I sound a little stuffed up, that's because I am, but no worries, I'm taking my turmeric and am on the mend. All right, so this week I'm diving into the wisdom side of the Urban Wisdom. The majority of us try each day to live in a way that will add to who we are. We also try to live a healthy or natural type of life to preserve and take care of our bodies. This doesn't mean we're bunny huggers or radical individuals. It merely means we live simple and use natural or homemade products. We are staying true to the land and what we believe is right for us. Now life should be lived so you can stay true to yourself. After all, you are the one in control of making the decisions. Every decision you make in life has consequences allowing you to take one step closer or further away from the person you long to be. For instance, if you decide to make homemade soap, you are adding to your health and also reducing your stress because you're not worried about ingredients in regular soap that could cause cancer. Same with where you live. Do you live by a chemical plant or have you chosen to move to a safer environment? Where do you work? Do you work where you breathe in solvents or other harmful vapors or have you decided to change positions? Asking yourself these questions and changing where you work or live doesn't mean you're a nut. It means you care about your health and a healthier family. Now, I love making soap, canning and freezing veggies we grow, using products like almond oil to remove eye makeup, and milking a cow. They make me happy but also relax and release stress because, one, I love hard work, two, everything is homegrown or natural, And three, it brings me joy when I can do something for my family that adds to their overall life and health. Now, because of the world we are living in today, we have the opportunity to live natural, simple, and pure as far as foods or products, but then still reach people through blogging, podcasts, newspapers, writing, or any other way that shares and helps others. I live a wholesome and natural life but I also choose to use technology to teach and share what I know with my neighbors, friends, and strangers. You can do the same. You don't have to be a one thing. I live organic, but teach through technology. Some stay away from technology, don't share their knowledge, but yet are incredibly health conscious, and there's nothing wrong with that. There isn't a one-size-fits-all format as to how a person can or should live. The point is to live to the best of your ability never taking for granted what you eat, what products you use, where you live, or what profession you choose. Health is many things beyond food or products. Health is physical and mental happiness. What are you reading, eating, listening to, or teaching? Never underestimate that every part of your life has a significant impact on you and therefore must be considered. Every part to include hobbies, exercise, what you watch, who your friends are, what you read, and so on. Who are you? Why have you chosen this for your life? And does it make you feel good about yourself? Now, some might call this a rant, but I call it essential to one's life. Living true to who you are while creating the best atmosphere is one of the keys to being fruitful and enjoying the moments you have. Don't waste your time making bad decisions. Choose to live a natural and healthy life making wise decisions all along the way. All right, cheers, y'all. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Urban Wisdom and Natural Living. Tune in next week where I'll broadcast live every Monday morning at 8 a.m. If you miss it live, hold those tears and head on over to my blog, which is heatherearls.com. That's Heather, E-A-R-L-E-S.com. There you can have 24-7 access or right here on iTunes. If you want to follow me on social media, you'll find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Have a healthy week.